Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to everyone. And thank you for joining us here for the chemistry talk. Before we begin, here are some housekeeping announcements. So first, please keep your mask on throughout the entire duration of the talk. Second, please remember to switch your phone to silent mode. Speaking today, our Associate Professor Jason Yeo, who is the Deputy Head of Education at the Chemistry Department, and Yap Kang Zheng, Project's Head of Chemical Sciences Society. They will be sharing more on NUS chemistry program, as well as how you can enrich your learning experience through internships and research projects, amongst others. Prof Yeo is also an alumni of NUS, having received both his Bachelor and Master's of Science in Chemistry, here before obtaining his PhD from ETH Zurich. His work focuses on developing efficient and robust materials to catalyze energy conversion to achieve sustainable and environmentally friendly energy. Prof Yeo, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the kind introduction. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Um, so it's, it's, it's a great pleasure to be here. Um, before I go on, um, I would like to uh, sort of congratulate the students over here. I guess all of you have um, you know, either finished your A-levels, um, anywhere's high school diploma, poly diploma, IB. It's such a milestone in your lives. Or you may have finished your army, or about to finish your army. So again, a big congratulations. Um, for those of you here who are perhaps parents, uh, congratulations uh, for the achievements uh, of your children. So what I'm going to do in the next, say, 12 minutes or so, is that uh, I'll give an overview of the Department of Chemistry, as well as the curriculum. And after that, I'll pass the floor to uh, our friend over here, uh, Kang Zhen, who will tell us more about um, student life. Okay, I think that would be very, very exciting. Now, what is chemistry? So if I look at the uh, you know, typical the definition of what chemistry is, you know, in textbooks, Wikipedia, you say something like, it's a branch of science. And it, it's, con it, it, it's concerned with the study or the understanding of the properties, the reactions of matter, and what makes up matter, for example, atoms and molecules, uh, specifically. And atoms and molecules are everywhere. So for example, the air which all of you are breathing in now, oxygen, nitrogen, gas, molecules. Um, the seat which you are sitting on, I think part of it must contain plastics. There'll be propylene in there, or propene. Um, the vitamins which perhaps you have taken this morning before you come over here uh, to keep, you, keep your immune system strong, molecules. The electronics in your mobile phones, in your laptops, molecules and atoms. So atoms and molecules are everywhere. And uh, we chemists, we study the properties, the reactions of these matter, these atoms and molecules, very frequently in conjunction uh, with many applications in mind, um, some of which are shown over here. And I think this is why um, chemistry is often termed as the central science. So sort of everything links to chemists. And uh, there is an upside to it, and that is uh, it makes chemists kind of a very versatile people. And as you shall see later in a while, and if it's shown already, reviewed by this slide, um, chemistry graduates can be found in all sectors, in the industries. So introduction to uh, NUS chemistry, we are what we call a comprehensive department, and this means we do research, cutting-edge research, but we also offer um, educational programs um, at really at all levels. The undergraduate, which I hope uh, all of you will join, okay, please join. Um, graduate program, so it's PhD, Masters. We also offer professional um, educa continued education programs. These are short courses. Perhaps, you know, 10 years after graduation, you want to pick up some new skills, you come over, you know, for a, a course that, that lasts a couple of weeks or a couple of days for an upgrading. So all this is possible, um, I would say, thanks to um, um, 60 faculty members who does uh, a lot of teaching and research, as well as a very important 40 support staff members. So these are our administrators, um, technicians, 
uh, they, are, they are very important. They help to keep the place running. Uh, without them, the place will collapse. Yeah. Um, we have about 400 undergraduate students. I think this is a real advantage. That means if you come to chemistry, you're not alone. Okay, you find a nice ecosystem, about 100 undergraduates every year. We hope this year there's more, but uh, you have at least you know, more than 400 um, chemistry undergraduates. Nice ecosystem you can interact with, compare notes, learn from them. Okay? And uh, we have about uh, 150 PhD students, and not to mention, not included here, about 120 master students. So we have a nice, sizable um, community. Um, so this is an example of some of our staff members. You can see from this slide over here that we are engaged in all kinds of research, uh, from materials to uh, chemical biology and, and so on. And here's another one, um, catalysis and synthesis, um, inorganic chemistry, um, that's myself um, doing in environmental and analytical chemistry, as well as uh, theoretical chemistry. So uh, if you come to the Department of Chemistry, I'm sure that uh, uh, you meet many of them. Either they'll be teaching you, or you'll be working perhaps in their labs. Yeah? Um, the chemistry faculty, uh, we, we, are, we are very happy that uh, a lot of our faculty members uh, are ranked very, very highly in the world for, their, for the quality of their research. They are highly cited scientists, as you can see over here. But now, um, you know, Sometimes we have this impression that chemists are these guys that just work in the lab doing their little thing. But uh, I think we are very mindful that it's important to make an impact. Yeah? And of course, there are many ways which we can... Recording in progress. <laughs> no worries. We, we are very mindful that you know, we have to make an impact in the world. Yeah? And one of the many ways which we do so, for example, is by working with the industry. So this is one example over here where we collaborate with applied materials okay, to make the next generation semiconductors. There is another, um, oops, that's the work now, what happened? Hmm. Oh. Something got frozen? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay, great. And then another one over here, um, where NUS collaborates with Shell. Now, this is this energy company to help to um, in our efforts to decarbonize the industries. That means we try to convert um, carbon dioxide to liquid fuels. And uh, I'm personally um, involved in this project. Okay? Um, now, the Department of Chemistry, I think that I could say that because uh, on behalf of all my colleagues in the department, that we are very concerned about giving all of you a high quality of education. We try our best. And this is not just by giving a good lecture, but it's also to equip you, to, to make all of you technically competent, hands-on. Because at the end of the day, I think that many chemists are what we call experimental chemists, which means you have to be good in hands-on. Hmm? And uh, we have uh, great facilities over in our department, cutting-edge facilities. This is just a sampling, yeah? because uh, what, will happen, what happens is that in the, in the labs of many professors, we have our even more specialized equipment, which all of you can get a chance to use if you join us, okay? Okay, so I've presented to you a brief overview of our department. Um, I will say a few words now about the curriculum, the program, okay, which I'm sure all of you are interested in. You can sort of look at the program in the CHS system to be a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle. Huh? Jigsaw puzzle. So to make a nice picture, Okay, what you need to do is you need to put in pieces of that puzzle, right? And then if you have enough pieces, you get a nice picture. So the program is kind of a similar, okay? Um, if you want to, if you need to get a degree over here, you need enough pieces. Uh, and you need about 40 pieces of these jigsaws. Um, and each of these pieces is what we call a module. Now, what is a module? You can sort of look at it as a know, like a bite-sized chunk of information, of wisdom, of knowledge, which we hope all of you to acquire, say, over a space of one semester or about 13 weeks, okay? So you need about uh, 40 of these pieces yeah. to get a degree. Um, I'm sure that you have already, you know, seen this a couple of times um, 
perhaps during the NUS open house or perhaps early this morning. Yeah? So I'm not going to it. You need to do the so-called core curriculum, but we'll focus more on the major requirements, which is chemistry in this case, as well as the unrestricted electives. So what do we have? Now, um, for all of you here who are interested to do a first major in chemistry, um, we could suggest, no, we would like all of you to do CM1102, Chemistry, the Central Science. You can consider this module to be sort of an introductory course to varsity chemistry. Um, these are taught by three of our, I would say, best professors. Yeah? Um, the three of them are multiple teaching award winners, okay? Um, if you are undecided on whether chemistry could be a first major for you, you're also free to take up this course. And perhaps, who knows, you might change your mind yeah, and do chemistry as the first major. Now, if you would like to do chemistry, but you do not meet the prerequisites, yeah, you can do what we call a bridging module. So this is um, CM1417. And after you read and pass this module, you can go on and continue like the rest of your friends. So here is one module, and then we have four so-called level 2000 modules, or level two modules. So this is a combination of um, lectures as well as practicals yeah, in the four major branches of chemistry, physical, analytical, inorganic, and organic chemistry. Yeah? So you can do all these within your first and second year. Or Probably, it, but you should finish all of them by your second year. And then, um, level 3000, another six modules. So these are, well, sort of more advanced courses in, again, in organic, organic, physical, analytical chemistry, um, both experiments and lectures. Now, so we have one plus four plus six, so that comes to 11. Now, we have another four modules we should fill in. Essentially, you can do what we call electives. That means you can do what you like. Yeah? So for example, okay, when I was uh, many, many years ago, I will not say how many years ago, because you can then guess my age, right? But uh, some, some time ago, um, when I was an undergraduate, I liked surface science, I liked catalysis, I liked inorganic chemistry, okay? I was passionate about it. So when it comes to choosing the electives, I was really doing modules like, for example, catalysis, um, and inorganic chemistry. Now, if you like to do, for example, computational chemistry, we have the possibilities, okay, all there for you. So this comes to 15 modules. Now, how about the so-called unrestricted electives? So as the name suggests, you're really free to choose what you want. So you could, for example, you know, do a module in uh, history, a module in social work, a module in life sciences, in math, and so on. You got my message, huh? But I would say, why not do more chemistry, right? I mean, to get a deeper expertise. Uh, we have different possibilities for you, apart from the modules. Um, you could do what we call a specialization in chemical research. So essentially, you, you take up research projects, two research projects. One that lasts for one semester, and the other for two semesters. Okay? Now, what is a research project? Essentially, you spend time in the lab of a professor and work under his or her mentorship. You learn how to define a problem, to do research, to figure out solutions to the problem. You learn how to collect data, to write up the data, to present the data, to defend the data. And I would say, if you think about it, it's not too bad a training okay, for, for a student, right? Everything in there. Right? You learn how to argue coherently. Great training. Highly recommended. It's great even if you, you know, want to stop at a four-year degree, or if you want to continue with a PhD and so on, great training. Um, if you would like to apply what you learn in the industries, no problem. Uh, we have a lot of connections with different industries. You are free to join them for one semester. Um, I think many students are interested in um, exchange programs. You can, for example, go to um, the United States. You can go to Europe. I know that many students like to go to Korea because of K-pop. No problem. Huh? We have all these possibilities out there for you. Now, chemistry. <clears throat> we understand that many students have multiple interests. Uh, so for example, again, 20, 30 years ago, if you want to do two majors, one in chemistry and one in, one in history, 
it could be very, very difficult because there is no framework for this possibility. But now, under the CHS system, this is easy. Yeah? So you could, for example, do a chemistry first major, you can do your um, core curriculum, of course, and then you can do a second major in history or psychology. No problem. Now, for those of you here who perhaps come because your friends dragged you here, but you're really not interested in chemistry, I would say, hey, why not consider perhaps doing a second major in chemistry or even a minor? Huh? No problem. With all these possibilities for you. Okay, now all these looks kind of uh, you know, complicated, um, but don't worry because after you matriculate, you have access to the internal system, and then this allows you to look into what we call the study plans. Uh, so you can use this as a referral to plan your timetable. Now, you spend four years in NUS, okay, fine, you get a degree, now what's next? I'm sure this is something in our minds, right? Um, I think that we chemists, chemists we really find ourselves um, you know, with many, many possibilities because chemistry is a central science and our, gra our graduates find themselves working in a variety of sectors, okay, in different jobs. Um, here is um, some of the job titles of our alumni. Uh, include over here Deputy Head of Cap Department at US Chemistry. That's me, okay, because I'm alumni too of this department and I'm very happy to be, to, to, to be, to be promoting my department to all of you. I think I'm going to sort of stop here, but before that, you could uh, follow our uh, Facebook page for latest information. And then we have, uh, you know, um, email and uh, phone number. If you want to write to me to, to ask anything, feel free, okay? So I think I'm going to stop here and then I will, I will uh, introduce the more important speaker uh, for today. Uh. Thank you very much. Function. Use this, okay. All right, uh, hi everyone. Thank you, Professor Yo, for the uh, introduction. So uh, I'm here just for five to 10 minutes to share with everyone a little bit about what student life in NUS chemistry is like. So uh, a bit about myself, I'm Kang Cheng. I'm currently a year one student under the new CHS curriculum. And yeah, I'll talk a little bit about like student life and what it's like as an undergraduate, because I believe many of you all here are curious about the CHS curriculum, what it's like and what other stuff do you do other than study, right, in uni. So in terms of student life, uh, there's a few things that, a uh, few departments or a few groups that are in charge of student life. So there's the department, the student life committee. Then there is the society that I'm part of, the NUS Chemical Sciences Society. So this is like a student-led organization that um, plans and conducts events for students, uh, mostly undergraduate students. And then we also have the NUS ACS student chapter. So the ACS, American Chemical Society, is like an international scientific organization. Lah. And there's a student chapter here in NUS also. So if you come in as a freshman, like myself when I first stepped in, uh, most of us are very lost. At least I was very lost. So uh, one of the things that we want to do, as like for, uh, the department wants to do, or what the student organization wants to do, is to make sure freshmen transit into the, uh, the chemistry um, system in a better and like easier way. So you're not super lost, you know how to plan for modules, you know where the lecture theatres are, things like that. So you have things like the Chem NUS connects with freshmen, so it's basically like a short talk that we hold every year for students, where we share more about internships, about jobs, about research, anything that you might be interested in. Right, and another one important point about the um, NUS chemistry program is we have this thing called the Camp NUS Mentorship Scheme, which was started by the department. So basically all year one students, when you come in, you are placed into a mentor group, right? And so this is my uh, men academic mentor, Professor Cheng Shu Xin. He's a chemistry professor, uh, associate professor here in chemistry as well. And this mentoring is not like tuition. Uh, they don't give you like free tuition, unfortunately. But what they do is they give you guidance throughout your first two years. So like we need help, like um, not sure where to find internships, who to look for, how to do module planning. You can always seek advice from your mentor. So this was a short meetup that I had with him and a few other students lah, at Starbucks, at Science. Yeah, yeah. then um, because I think many of us, we want to study chemistry because there are certain experiments or certain demonstrations that we have seen before, either in JC or you search online, that sort of interests you. Right, at least that's uh, true for myself. 
So actually, the department gives you the opportunity to sort of initiate your own experiment or demonstration as well. So you write your own proposal, do a risk assessment, all that, and then you can do whatever demonstration you want. Of course, like within safety considerations. Lah. So if you all were uh, here earlier for the talk, Alpha, this is actually him. He was doing some um, qualitative analysis um, experiments or demonstration to make like banana milk. Yeah. All right, then um, I think Prof Yeo talked a lot about research also, the emphasis on research. So we have this thing uh, organized by the Chemical Sciences Society, known as Meet the Researchers. So we invite uh, members of faculty to come down, share a little bit about their research areas, their expertise, what they're currently working on. And we also get some student speakers to come down, share about their research experiences. And so if you come to events like this, it's really a good opportunity for you all to network and get to know um, Professors la, can get ask them, uh, can I work in your lab, please, for this semester, something like that. All right, of course, studying aside, uh, relaxing is also important, at least for myself. So uh, we have events like Cam and Chill, uh, get to know your seniors, meet new friends, um, yeah, really just have fun. So these are like some other student life events that you can keep a lookout for. And of course, this is a new initiative um, done by Chemical Sciences Society this year. So we believe that, yes, um, studying is important, having fun is important, but we also want to sort of have an opportunity to like, give back to the community in a way. So we have this thing called Day of Service. So we, um, we work with Di Diversity this year as a company. What we do is we collect used soap from hotels. We process them, um, treat them, um, and we press them into new soaps, which can then be distributed to the migrant worker community in Singapore. La. Yeah, so this is some of the events they can look out for if you do come. But I think the one that most people, if you do accept uh, your offer and decide to join us, is the orientation camp. Right, so this will be held in June this year to welcome freshmen into NUS chemistry. So if you all are free, do join us. And this will be your first contact lah, with your fellow batchmates, your peers, as well as some of the seniors. All right. And yeah, if you are interested, you can drop by the Chemical Sciences Society booth. We are located outside, and you can scan a QR code to indicate your interest. All right, and um, that's all I have for the talk. Um, this is our social media. You can follow us for any updates, if you like, on Instagram. And yeah, if you have any questions for us, um, I think Prof Yu and I will both be here, and he'll answer any of your queries. Sir. Yep. Yeah. I guess we have time for a couple of questions. Um, but of course, if you are shy, we can always go outside because the chemistry booth is just right outside, okay? And then uh, we'll be there as long as there are questions. Um, but my colleagues told me that um, there are still empty slots in the uh, visits to the uh, chemistry labs. Yeah? And uh, I think the next tour is like 2.45. Um, if you have not... Uh, visited the facilities, please feel free to do so, okay? Now, do you have any uh, queries, questions? For those of you with questions, actually you can just speak it up from your seat here. If not, you can try using the microphones at the aisles. <laughs> Sorry, is that a question? All right, if there's no questions, thank you so much, Prof. Phil, and thank you, Kang Zheng, for sharing. Maybe we can give that a round of applause. <laughs> so we have now come to the end of the talk. But if you have any other questions, you can visit the chemistry booth, which is located outside at the foyer area. Of course, Prof. Phil and Kang Zheng will also be around to answer any queries that you might have. You can also find out more about the vibrant student life here at CHS at the booths of the student societies or join one of the tours that will bring you around the faculty's key facilities, educational spaces and research laboratories. But do sign up early as there are limited spaces for each tour. Our next talk will be on life science and it will start at 2.30. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day here at CHS Open House. Thank you.